All right, what's up guys? We're back with another one here. So today you got another another fun stupid video. So the other day I made a video about the cursed Guilty Gear collabs, right? Basically it was inspired from this this amazing ran with all art I saw on Twitter. You know, it was a fun video. I just I didn't really think about it. I just put it up there. You guys seem to enjoy it, but very interesting is uh, you know, I read in the comments, there are a ton of other collabs. So you guys know way more than I do. You guys are deep into that gotcha game nonsense. So you guys knew all these Guilty Gear collabs. You post it up in the comments. You know, I read them. I was like, you know, these are kind of crazy. Let me check them out too. So you know what? Round two. More cursed Guilty Gear collabs here. Some of these are, are super cursed. Some of these are messed up. Let's start with this. I've heard about this game before. I've actually seen billboards for it in like Akihabara. But I don't remember this. So here we go. Girls Frontline. We got the good Guilty Gear tunes right now. Guilty Gear Exit Rev 2. And Blaze Blue snuck in there as well. So here we go. Girls Frontline. What kind of game is this? It's a mobile game. We got Noel. There's got to be guns, right? Noel and Elf that are in here. They, they, they spent some money on the intro, and there's the art. This, this is the most interesting thing to me, is like seeing the art. Damn. This is Dark Elf, Shadow Elf. Like, here we go. Oh, it's another one of these chibi little like uh, pixel art games, like the other one. No vermilion with the short skirt like always. God damn. So there's a whole army of elf elves. I think that'll give nightmares to any Guild Gear player before. Who are these girls? What the hell is that? Noel seems pretty dependable. That's right, Valentine's emotion. They got deep lore. They got deep lore and stuff in there too. What the, is that Mew 12 in there too? Mew snuck in there? Battle success. Interesting, but damn, this game looks wild, huh? It seems seems kind of chaotic there, but there we go. Another curse collab here. This one looks better than the other ones, right? Some of the games last in the last video was like Crusader Knight or something. Those games look kind of crappy. Girls Frontline seems all right. I'm not gonna play it though. But yeah, let me know. Let me know if you guys are Girls Frontline players. But there's more. Hold on, hang in. There's plenty more. All right, this next one is good. This next one I I knew about. I knew about, but I forgot about. I knew about this one because of a very famous. I don't know what you want to call it. A movie. A clip of all your favorite fighting game girls playing in a river. You might know what I'm talking about here, but it is, uh, what's the game called? Queen's Gate? But yes, Dizzy. So, the Queen's Gate is a strategy RPG, kind of like, uh, like Super Robot Wars, right? It's based off that. But for some reason, there's tons and tons and tons of fighting game characters, uh, added in there. But, they are all girls. Because, this is, a a sexy strategy RPG. You can see my standing there. There's Noelle, right? There's Dizzy. There's like Lily from Tekken, I think. So let's watch some of these attacks. Get ready. I hope the panda editors don't cut this out. Selecting all the attacks right now. All right, so here's Dizzy. Ready? This is an official, this is an official game. Please do not. This is not a fan. This, this is official art. This is official art. This is not, I do not want to get canceled or in trouble. Arxis gave their permission. They gave their IP to the, to the people that make this game to let Dizzy do these attacks right now. So, you know, little uh, Kumar Bay aside, the animation is really good. Not just for her, you know, all this game got really sick animation for all the uh, attacks right there. As a Super Robot fan, you know, I love this kind of stuff here. What is this? <laughs> She gets naked this one, ready? This is cooler than- No, Dizzy, put your clothes back on! That's cooler than- This is- She unleashes her full gear power? This is actually cooler than her instant kill in the other one, right? Make this a cannon move and strive or something there. But yes, that is official. That is- That's a collab. For some reason, who would have thought? Dizzy Guilty Gear isn't an RPG, a strategy RPG. On the PSP. So if you guys still have a PSP lying around, there you go. You know what game you want to download and pirate there. Alright, next one is amazing. This one is godlike. So I forgot about this one. I remember this one too. I forgot about it. But this is a game called Lord of a Million. So if you're overseas, you might have never heard about this game. But this is an arcade game. It was one of the first ones in Japan where you actually... The playing board is a huge deck. And you get cards. And each card, when you put it on the board, it reads the card. So you get like a character card. You put it on the board. You move the card to position. It's sick. It's super sick. You, you have to see it uh, in person. But they did a collab. They did collabs with all sorts of RPGs and other games. But they did one with Guilty Gear too. So watch this. So here we go. 
I don't know how you describe this game. It's almost like a tower defense. It, this is a PvP game, by the way, too. You fight your opponents. Dragon install. Well, my, my face is coming. You see all those cards down there? All those faces. So you control, it's not just one card. You have like eight to 10 cards and you move them around to attack on the board. It's sick. Trust me, this game is sick. The problem is that you can't play it at home, right? You can't play it at home because you need that, that huge cardboard. And the other problem is only in Japanese. So whenever I would try and tell people to, that were visiting, I was like, you should check out Lord of a Million. But it's only in Japanese. I'd like, I don't know if you can figure that all out. The one thing I will say about this game is the soundtrack is ridiculous. I highly, highly, highly recommend you give the Lord of a Million soundtrack a go. All of them. I think there's three, right? One and two. I, I vouch for one and two. All right, next one. Now this, this, these just don't make any sense. All right, ready? So Guilty Gear is your favorite fighting game, right? Your favorite fighting game of all time. Did you know that Guilty Gear did a collab with a Korean soccer anime RPG mobile game? Well, if you didn't, let's check it out. Opening up everyone's eyes to the brand new world of, of Guilty Gear. So this game is called Soccer, Soccer Spirits from Korea. This is a soccer game, by the way. This intro doesn't show it's a soccer game. There's the soccer and there's the RPG and the magic. Here comes the collab part, ready? Guilty Gear Exert. Soccer Spirits Galaxy Live. The characters aren't in the game, but it was outfits and skins that you could equip with them right there. So the card right there. There's only five, but they actually had more, right? Than these right there. So I have an in-game footage clip. Hold on. Here's uh, Bora, I guess, who's got the biking skin on. Look at the soccer RPG stats. I don't know if you can hear her voice, but she's speaking Korean, right? It makes sense, you know. They, they, Strive got the Korea dub. Strive just added the Korea dub, man. This is uh, this game is pretty big in Korea. Shout out to Daru and all those dudes out there. But here we go. Another collab I never heard of until the YouTube monsters came up and told me all about it. You got Guilty Gear players or Guilty Gear characters playing soccer now. Why not? Right, this next one is really cool. The next one's really cool. And it's also very recent. Collabs we saw before have been Guilty Gear Exert, right? This one is Guilty Gear Strive. This is actually like a, a very recent collab with uh, a game called Counterside, right? Again, this is something you guys knew. I did not know. I believe this is also a Korean game. Yeah, it's Korean. Korea loves Guilty Gear, huh? Look at that art though. Look at that, that soul art right here. So I'm gonna just scroll through. We're gonna see some of the characters here, right? There's Ram art, little chibi girl running around. Look, she, ha she has her Strive specials and everything. Her Strive Rekka, things like that. It's really well done. This game looks actually sick, right? Mobile games are actually getting like better and better and better. I just, I wonder how much gotcha is like involved. Eno, damn, she looks good. Korean art is godlike, man. Let's see her in game. But yeah, you got note and everything, right? You have the, the, this looks so good. I might actually download this game. This game is ridiculous. Megalomania right there. Any other characters? No. So it looks like those three. Oh, Millie is in, in there apparently too. When I was looking up videos for this collab, this one made me laugh, ready? So a lot of these games are PVP based. So here's a PVP match in uh, Counterside against Soul versus Soul. So two gorillas in a mobile game. Look at these guys go at it. Watch these guys just swing at each other. It looks like Strive. One, two, these guys, look at, look at that. This actually looks like two Soul players on net play right now. Not thinking, not blocking. Just swang and pressing far ass is going absolutely nuts. They're going crazy, man. The Guilty Gear music in the background. You look, you change the UI a little bit. I couldn't tell the difference, right? He just did a, uh, whatever the name that his new move is. The graveyard or whatever the hell that thing is. All right, enough. Enough with the gorilla, the gorilla war right there. That game is called Counterside. It looks cool. Check it out. Two more now. The next one is just really quick one. You know, I, I someone mentioned in the comments. I was like, you know what? Let's just put it up there too. You know, it's not a crazy collab, but it is, is, is quite cool. It's, uh, you know, DJ Max. So it's a music, music game. So of course, Guilty Gear, we always talk about how good the music is, how great the jukebox is. It makes sense that you do a collab with a music game. And then the best one is for last. So stick around. The best one's for last. So hang in there, guys. DJ Max gonna play Holy Orders. This is the the Overture version, right? Or this is the Exert, uh, you know, the Exert version after Kai gets his his knockdown here. I have no idea what's going on. They're supposed to press left, up, right, square. So it's a six button game. How my fingers are just even trying to like keep up with this. I can't do it, man. I can't do it at all. 
But it's cool. They have the little, the little Guilty Gear music video in the background as they play this song. I wonder what other songs they have, too. I wonder if they have other tracks, too. Although Holy Order is one of the greatest ones. We shall see. But yes, another cool collab, man. Another cool collab. With the Overture battle scene in the background. Alright, anyway, let's check out the last one. So, we, we checked out a lot of collabs in the last video and this video. I think we got most of them. If I forgot any of them, you know, leave a comment. But the last one I wanted to save. This one is the most cursed. This is one that I knew about, but I had blocked from my memory. I actually blocked this one from my memory because it was just so bad. I couldn't, you know, I, did, I wouldn't forget about it. You guys brought up, you know, past the uh, repressed memory. So, if I had to see it... You guys have to see it. Ready? The most cursed Guilty Gear collab I know. I cannot believe Arxis Daisuke allowed this to happen. Koei Tecmo Games, Team Ninja. Uh-oh. Arc System Works. Times Guilty Gear last round. Yes, there was a there's an Arc System Guilty Gear collab here. No, it doesn't look too too bad here. It doesn't look too terrible. It's dizzy with the huge tail going off. Damn, look at Ramathal! That was my girl Rambo. You see her? She looks cursed. Look at her. The Xbox meme. She looked better in that one, dude. Biking, right? Oh, she got two arms. Look at Billy's face. Jacko is European now. Jam looks all right. Now, this is where it gets messed up. Come on, man. Makoto sneaking in there. Mary Rose is coming. Mary Rose Platinum. There we go. Damn, Makoto is janky looking. Platinum the Trinity. Mew 12 in there, okay. Bullet, Tina Bullet, Celica 9. They got the whole damn cast in this game. Noel with, with brown hair too. They brought the whole damn cast out here. All the, the arcs repertoire here. Amazing. I still can't get over Ram. I thought, look at Ram in the middle, man. Her hat is just like two pointy ass ears. And Makoto, look at Makoto on the left, man. These dudes. Daisuke, what were you thinking, man? So yeah, that that that's it. That is all the ones I have for this video. Pretty, pretty fun stuff. You know, I like Guilty Gear. I like seeing all of this stuff they do. So thank you guys if you're still watching. Not only for watching, but also for, you know, leaving the comments, letting me know about all these collabs. I had a fun time checking them out. If I missed any more, if we have to make a, a round three, you know, let me know. Leave, leave more comments. Let me know what other cursed trailers there are. Cursed collabs there are. We can check them out. We won't be done with Guild together. We might have to go after Blaze Blue, huh? I'm sure there's a lot of cursed Blaze Blue collabs, too. I don't know. But uh, like always, you're still watching. Thank you. Let me know. What was your favorite one? Let me know who's your favorite Dead or Alive Arxis girl. Which one is the best looking to you? I don't know. But uh, leave a comment, like always. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.